you're living in America, you can look forward to something of a treat. And let me explain the reasons why. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Nice to have your company as ever. And uh, whatever you're doing today, make sure it's a good one. And you know, cherish the day, don't let it slip by. Do something positive, even if it's for you, you know, just making yourself a nice cup of tea, sitting out in the garden, looking up at the sky. You know, we should be grateful more. I know I lecture you a bit, but you know, we really should be grateful. We all live these high speed lives, don't we? And it's often sort of a blip, isn't it? Like a pandemic that slows us all down and makes you realize that actually it's good to look around you know I'm not lecturing you I'm just I'm just sort of trying to make people slow down a little bit I think particularly in my job you know let me tell you we speed along you know diaries are planned months in advance all that sort of stuff which brings me to of course our breaking royal story of the day because very soon we can tell you there will be the dates announced for the planned visit to the United States of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge William and Catherine and I'm gonna say also by the way I don't know if you've seen that particular uh, first dual portrait portrait by Jamie Corrith of both of them which is now in the Fitzwilliam Museum up in Cambridgeshire rather fitting I liked it I thought it was uh, just a lovely I mean listen you know I can't paint anything so I think what he did was remarkable in fact but we do know Catherine was slightly enamored by it in fact so uh, that's a nice thing isn't it at least you know when the royals like your work it's not bad is it back though to the uh, breaking story of the day this really is about uh, Prince William and Catherine finally going over to the United States and this is all to do with their Earthshot charity which was a huge success over here last year and of course we know what it's about there was a book to accompany it which also went to number one there's really no stopping this power couple at the moment is there when you think about it they look more loved up than ever more relaxed and for those that thought he was trapped uh, seemingly freer than ever and thoroughly enjoying his life right now you know <laughs> whichever way you look at it but there's this thorny subject which I really wanted to clear up because apparently when they go over to the United States there's a lot of hype over there about how apparently they're going to be meeting up with Meghan and of course his younger brother Prince Harry. Well, you know, that would be an ideal situation, wouldn't it, to take the time out to do that when you think about it, you know, both in the same country and perhaps away from quite a lot of prying eyes because it's a little bit easier to get away uh, from the media over there, believe it or not, because it's such a vast place you can arrange to meet anywhere. But according to the very good source that I have regarding William and Catherine, that sadly will not be possible. They're planning a packed schedule with no private town for visits or downtime. Yes, very nice and regally put, I'm sure you'll agree. This really all centres upon the fact, though, that William is finding it very hard to move on from all those allegations that Prince Harry put out about him and his family via the Oprah Winfrey interview, and furthermore, the latest harrowing and very difficult situation that Harry is placing upon the royal household with his continued battle for security in, of course, the British High Court. It does seem strange, doesn't it, that these two brothers who were once so close have fallen out seemingly over a couple of bits and pieces that have escalated so much. And as I've said before, Catherine's a very gracious, forgiving and kind person, but even she can't sort of push it forward. It really would have to come from Prince William. And once he makes his mind up, as we've seen in many different spheres, he's really steely, really sticks to his guns, and more importantly, will not be moved. And right now, that's exactly where Catherine finds herself with him. Whichever way it goes, seemingly there's going to be no royal catch-up late summer in the United States for the once ever so close Royal Brothers. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.